Do you want to put that in her crate, buddy? All right, come here, Sasha. Come here. Let's go up the steps. Let's go up the steps. Okay, ready? One paw, the other paw. Now get the back legs, too. Okay. Okay, let's go ahead and get this one and this one. Yeah. Harrison, you could even try climbing this if you wanted to. Oh, the last step's going to be a little bit, a little bit tricky. All right, here, Sasha. You want some of your toys to put you on? Here you go. You're okay. And Sasha gets to be here too. She gets to help keep us company. I know, it's, it's your best time. For bed, Old House by Janet Costa Bates and illustrated by A.G. Ford. <laughs> Time for bed, Old House. Isaac loved the new pajamas he got for his first sleepover at Grandpop's house. He loved laughing and playing with Grandpop, but he didn't love the thought of sleeping away from home. <laughs> I'm not sleepy, Isaac said. Then stay awake, Grandpa said. But it's time to put the house to bed. I never heard of putting the house to bed, said Isaac. Well, little buddy, said Grandpa, let me show you and there how it's done. First, you move kind of quiet and slow, Grandpa. <laughs> Grandpa took soft, slow steps across the room. Isaac took soft, slow steps behind him. <coughs> Now, let's make it nice and dark and cozy, Grandpa said, and he turned off the light. Click, click, click. What's that noise? Said I, asked Isaac. He reached for Grandpa's hand. <coughs> That's just Snuffles, Grandpa said. The old dog plodded pl across the floor. Now's clicking. Isaac gave Snuffles a pat. <coughs> With Isaac and Snuffles following, Grandpa stepped softly down the hallway. He paused at the light switch and looked at Isaac. Isaac reached up and turned it off. Squeak, squeak, squeak. What's that noise? asked Isaac. Oh, here, we're going we're gonna to switch you on. Grandpa brought Isaac over to the window and pointed. The wind is blowing your swings back and forth, he said. Isaac could see them moving in the moonlight. Now, come on, sport. We're not done yet. Grandpa carefully pulled down the window shades. Looks like the house is closing its eyes to sleep, he said. Creak, creak, creak. What's that noise? asked Isaac. <coughs> this old house makes sleepy sounds just like you, said Grandpa. You yawn, you stretch, I bet you even snore. I don't think I snore, said Isaac. Grandpa shrugged. But if you're sleeping, how do you know? He chuckled loudly, then caught himself and put his hand over his head mouth. Come on, little pale Grandpa said softly. They tiptoed up the stairs. <laughs> then Snuffles yawned a squeaky yawn. Grandpa put his finger on his lips and whispered, Shh, Snuffles, shh. <laughs> they went into Mama's old bedroom. Time to read a bedtime story to the house, Grandpa said quietly to Isaac. But I can't read yet, Isaac said quietly to Grandpa. I bet you can read pictures. Grandpa settled himself into the big chair by the bed and held out a book to Isaac. Just tell me what you see on each page. Isaac climbed onto Grandpa's lap and described the first picture. A little boy is looking out the window. There's snow on the ground. Isaac turned the page. He's outside, wearing a red jacket. Good job, said Grandpa. Keep going. <laughs> when Isaac re finished reading the pictures on the book, he rested his head on Grandpa's shoulder. He could, hear, he could hear him breathing slow and steady. He looked up and saw that he had read Grandpa to sleep. 
Isaac carefully climbed off the chair. He covered Grandpa with a blanket. Then, rocking softly, taking, taking soft, slow steps, Isaac walked over to the window. He gently closed the shade and whispered, Time for bed, old house. When the grandfather clock chimed from the hallway, Isaac put his finger to his lips. Shh, Mr. Clock, shh. Isaac settled himself into bed, picked up a book, and in a soft voice read the pictures to bear. When he was done, he quietly turned off the wall. Click, click, click. He reached out to pet Snuffles. Squeak, squeak, squeak. He thought of the fun he and Bear would have on the swings tomorrow. Creak, creak, creak. Tonight he would sleep well in the old house. And if, and if that old house could hear, then too, then it too would have heard bedtime noises. Shh, shh, shh. The house knowing the grandpa, Isaac, and Snuffles, the dog. They're all snoring. Do you think Sasha snores too? Do you think Sasha snores? Maybe. Right, should we do our, our I love you ritual? <clears throat> a wonderful woman lived in a shoe. She had so many children, she knew exactly what to do. She held them, she rocked them, and tucked them in bed. I love you, I love you, was what she said. <clears throat> Hush, little baby, don't say a word. Mama's gonna buy you a mockingbird. If that mockingbird don't sing, Mama's gonna buy you a diamond ring. If that diamond ring gets broke, Mama's gonna buy you a billy goat. If that billy goat don't pull, Mama's gonna buy you a horse and or a cart and bull. If oh wait, did I miss that up? <laughs> If that cart and bull turn over, Mama's gonna buy you a dog named Rover. If that dog named Rover don't bark, Mama's gonna buy you a horse and cart. Hush, little baby, don't say a word. Mama's gonna buy you a mockingbird. Wanna well, say good night to Sasha? Say good night. Say good night. Yeah, do you see her? She's in the iPad right now. Say good night. Good night, Sasha. Yeah, we're gonna put you to sleep. In person too. Yeah, time to go to sleep. You gonna you wanna pet her? You guys gonna pet each other? Yeah. Yeah, you can pet each other. Okay. We'll have to turn off the light and turn on this the sound machine. Yeah. <laughs> oh, we love our babies, don't we? We love our babies. Yeah. <coughs> Sasha, you got some more stuff over there that you can chew on. Yeah, Carson. <laughs> okay. We're going to turn this off. Say goodnight, Sasha. Goodnight. <laughs> Do you like seeing you, Carson? <laughs> There's Carson. And there, Sasha. Say goodnight. Say goodnight. Sasha. Sasha. Say goodnight. Oh, goodnight. <laughs>